my I'm Delusion Dispeller, and I think this is going to be my last video in this series, What Makes the Narcissist and Psychopath Tick? Because um, I'm not really telling you how to break free from them. That's a totally other topic altogether. I'm just kind of telling you what it's like to be in relationship with these types of people. So the narcissist eventually tells on themselves, if you're really good at listening, you may want to keep your ears peeled because they will actually tell you what they are up to. They will say things like, I got to think about this a minute. They will say things like, um, well, I only did that because I know that's what you wanted to hear. Or eventually I'll be done with you. I mean, they'll just like blurt stuff out and you'll, and it'll send you reeling because it's tactless and cruel, obviously. But if you realize they're actually hinting about what they are about to do with you. That's why when I saw a certain video of a killer who was about to kill his wife, and I saw him put his arms around the dog's throat, figuratively, and hold the dog up in an uncomfortable position, I was like, why did people not jump on that and tell her, did you not see in your video that this dude is doing this to a dog? Are you not afraid of this man? I saw it right away, but I'm on the outside looking in. Maybe she was so caught up in, I don't know, touting her product or whatever that she wasn't paying attention behind her. But I think she was because she said, don't, don't choke him. Don't choke the dog. That would have been my first ticket out the door. Anybody that will abuse an animal, I'm gone. As soon as my ex-husband shoved his finger down the throat of my baby kitten, I began thinking divorce. I began working on figuring out how to get out of that marriage immediately. Um, unfortunately, I didn't know how. And I was trapped until he ended up in jail. And then I divorced him. But yeah, um, that should be your first ticket out the door. As soon as somebody abuses an animal, you're done with them. There's no second chances. An animal is helpless. They depend on us. If someone's going to abuse or hurt an animal, especially a pet, then you need to be done with them and say adios. Um, so I'm going to end on this note. What happens when the narcissist finally has replaced you with whomever? You know that they're done with you, even if they're still kind of hovering around. You know you're done with them. What do you need to do? You need to practice self-care. <clears throat> Get a book. It's called The Language of Letting Go by Melody Beattie. Start reading that book every day, every day, every day, religiously. Make it a ritual. Every day you're going to read a chapter in this book. And thankfully, I'm pretty sure it goes by dates. So you can read it on a date that it is. And just start reading it and applying it to your life. And realize that you are worthy. You are worth more than to be abused by anybody. And if you right now are in an abuse situation, please make a plan B to get out of there safely. Do not suddenly abruptly tell your narcissist or psychopath, I'm leaving, I'm done. I've had enough and you're not going to do this to me anymore. Don't do it because that will just set them off and make them angry. And yes, a narcissist can become violent and a psychopath usually is violent. So you don't want to set them off like that. Talk to a bunch of people, anybody you can get to that's a safe person and let them know that you need a way out, that you need to escape that you're working on a plan, maybe sit and plan it with them and please get out in a safe way if you possibly can. Go to the police if it's safe to do so. But please do not put yourself in harm's way. I would be devastated if I heard anybody said, oh, Dee, Dee said to get out and I tried to leave and he beat the you know what out of me or they end up dead or something. I don't want that to be the case. So please be careful if you are planning on leaving. Um, but please, no matter what, practice good self-care. And please realize that it's okay to be selfish. It's okay to look at yourself and say, what do I like to do? What do I enjoy in my life? Because up to this point, the narcissist, the psychopath has trained you to do what they want, to like what they want, to move the way they want you to. They are puppeteers, puppet masters, and you have lost yourself. So get your identity back Find out what you love to do. Find out what your favorite movie is. Find out who you like to hang out with. But please be safe. No matter what, be safe. First and foremost is safety. And secondly is self-care. And thirdly is beginning to cut off the toxic person from your life in a safe way. Please detach 
from them. Even if you can't do it physically, detach emotionally. Do not let them wrap you up in their clutches, in their web, and harm you like that. You're worth so much more than that. You were fearfully and wonderfully made by the Creator, and you deserve the best. Thank you so much for watching this series. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave your comments, questions, opinions below. Please be kind. I do have feelings. I am a human being. Um, I love to be blessed. I, Of course, I love to be favored. I love to have people say kind things. I know you won't agree with everything I say necessarily. That's okay. Disagree agreeably. That's all I ask. I will be screening comments as necessary. I always do because, as I said, I have a heart. I'm human. I deserve to be respected and treated decently as any human does. All right. That being said, let's go into our life with a good positive attitude, with eyes wide open, moving forward. I hope this was helpful. Share it, like it, tell everybody about it, whatever you do. Have a blessed and prosperous day. Thank you.